Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So a few of you requested for this. So in this video, I am going to show you how to glitch on the hidden livery for the blister Kanjo. Now this is using the gift cards to friends glitch. So naturally you will need your MOC. You will need to be able to access the LS car meet. You will need an arcade or a nightclub in order to do the initial glitch out. And of course, near to the end, you will need a friend to actually give you a car or loan you a car that has at least 16 liveries that it can use in order to glitch on the hidden livery for the Blister Kanjo. So the first thing you need to do is to drive any vehicle out from your nightclub or arena and enter the LS car meet. Now because of a recent hotfix from Rockstar, before you enter the test track, just call Simeon or Gerald and request for a job. And once their job appears in the job list in your phone, only then do you access the test track. Now I made this video two days before that patch, but why let the video go to waste as you're still able to pull out your phone while you are in the test track. Now once you got your job from Simeon or Gerald, leave it on the phone like this, go up the exit ramp, and the moment your car stops or freezes, click enter to accept the job. You will have a glitched out screen, and then just quit the job as soon as you can. Now once you spawn back onto the LS car meet, you can either exit on foot and call out your vehicle after, or you could go search for your vehicle and try to enter and drive it out. Both ways will work and they will not affect the glitch. So in this instance, you see that I actually found my car, but I wasn't able to access it. So I'll just be running out on foot and I will request my vehicle from the interaction menu when I actually spawn outside. So what you need to do now is to bring your vehicle back to where you drove it out from. So I drove it out from the arena workshop level, so I'm just going to drive it back and enter the same level. Now you must enter the same level you drove it out from in order for the glitch to work. Now once you have selected your level, you will see your screen flashing like this. Just press F and you will drop through the map and the game will spawn you outside. So what you're going to want to do next is to open up your interaction menu and call out your RC Bandito. Now this fulfills two purposes. So the first purpose is that this will prevent you from dropping through the map when you're driving later. And the second purpose is when you actually spawn back onto the map after dismissing the RC Bandito. If you see yourself flashing means the glitch is still working. So now you should drive to the Grip Cars to Friend spot. I will skip the trip just to shorten this video. And here I am at the Gift Cars to Friend spot and I'm all ready to start part 2 of the glitch. Now if you have not invited your friend into session, please do so now, and he or she should have a car ready for you. Now my friend is going to use the BF Weevil as it has 16 liveries, which will be enough to glitch the hidden livery onto the Blister Kanjo. Now what you want to do next is to pull up your phone, call the mechanic and call in your car. So when your Blister Kanjo arrives, what you should do is to drive up to this very same spot and park it right behind your friend's BF Weevil. But then again, actually you can park it anywhere you like. It will not affect the glitch, but your friend should have their car right over there so that it'll be easier for you to enter when you are invisible later. So once you've gotten your car parked, just head over across the street, face the wall and call in your MOC. Just a tip, count to 10 before you look so that the MOC will not spawn elsewhere, which will waste quite a bit of your time. Once your MOC has arrived, just get into your car and your friend should get into the passenger seat. Once they do that, they should also be in the pause menu and stay there. Now drive your car all the way to the back of the MOC. What you are attempting to do right now is to enter the MOC. After you press E to enter, it will actually kick your friend out and she just needs to remain near the MOC and does not have to be in the pause menu anymore. Now what you're going to want to do next is to back your car up some distance, get out of the car, press on Alt and mouse up just to get the story mode alert once or twice. Once that is done, enter the MOC, choose to enter alone and you will go into a black screen without a loading circle. So what you should do next is to press and hold Alt and then mouse up to get the story mode alert and then reject that. It should put you on the map invisible and all you have to do now is to get into your friend's car 
and that will spawn both you and the car inside your MOC. Once you're inside here, just get your friend to return their personal vehicle before you drive out. Now if the car disappears like what you see here, just open up your interaction menu and request for personal vehicle. And once your vehicle arrives, the only thing to do right now would be to drive it to the nearest LS Customs. So while we're watching that, do take some time to drop a like and subscribe on this video, as I have more videos coming up and by subscribing you'll get notified. Thanks for all the support you have been giving to this channel and I hope that you'll continue to do so. Now once you're inside LS Customs, go to the livery section and the livery that you will want to choose is Peace Man, which is number 14. From here also you can choose to change the wheel color, which will give you colored stock wheels on the Blister Kanjo. And you can also choose to change your license plates. And once you are done with all that, you can go ahead and exit LS Customs so that we can continue on the last part of this glitch. So now that you are outside, the last thing to do is to open up your pause menu, go to online and go to creator mode. Now once you are creator mode, press P to go into the pause menu again, go to online and then select an invite only session. Now by the time you spawn back in, your blister kanjo should be spawned right near you and it should now have the hidden livery on it. So my blister kanjo is in a dark color so it doesn't really show all the details of the livery very well. I'm just going to go change the color of this a bit so that you can actually see more detail and then you can decide if this is for you. Alright, so I've changed this to a white color and you can actually see more detail that was hidden by the dark color which was previously on the car. And that's it for this glitch. Thanks for staying with the video up till now. I hope that this has been of use to some of you who have been waiting for this video. And with that, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.